I'm back. Just got back from vacation and I've been gone for 10 days. I was out of the office for about a week and a half. And in that time, I learned a lot and some lessons I want to share about digital transformation. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world reach their third stage of digital transformation success. And as I mentioned, I just got back from vacation and I'm back in the office now. This is my second day back. And while I was on vacation, I learned a lot of different things about digital transformation. Now, to be clear, I didn't think a lot about digital transformation while I was on vacation, but in the time since I've gotten back, it's really given me some additional insights or perspectives on things I could share with you here today. One of the main reasons why many of us go on holiday or vacation is because we're tired and we need a break. We need to recharge our batteries and renew our perspectives on life. And the same is true for organizations. Many organizations are under a lot of stress and a lot of pressure. And this is always the case, but even more so today than ever because of all the changes happening in the world around us. You have technological changes that are accelerating. You have layoffs that are happening in many parts of the world. You have macroeconomic trends. You have COVID-related impacts that are still affecting us here today. So there's a lot of stressors that organizations are going through. And then when you throw a digital transformation on top of that, oftentimes that just creates change fatigue. And so change fatigue is something we need to be aware of. We need to recognize and be empathetic to the fact that our organizations and our teams are oftentimes tired. They're fatigued. They're still trying to adjust to changes that have already happened. And now when we introduce new change, that can just further exasperate that problem. So be aware of change fatigue, ensure you've got a change strategy and ensure most importantly that you have a digital strategy and a transformation plan that reflects the realities of your organization and the change fatigue that your organization might be experiencing. One of the beauties of being able to take a holiday or vacation is the fact that oftentimes you get to think outside the box and really have a renewed different perspective on life and priorities and that sort of thing. And the same is true for organizations. Too often organizations get caught up in the same pitfalls and traps and mistakes that have been made for decades in digital transformations and leadership in general. And they don't think outside the box. They don't think differently about what they could do to be more effective and to be different and to be more effective than how their predecessors might have been either within their organizations or even outside those organizations. So it's important to take the time to really think outside the box and make sure that you're looking at new ways and more effective ways of leading your digital transformation so that you can be a more effective leader, a more effective project team member or contributor, and also ensure that your project and your overall organization is more successful in the long term. Oftentimes we take holidays and vacations to ensure that we take care of ourselves. It's an opportunity to recharge and reset ourselves and make sure that we're on track and that we're happy in life and all of that good stuff. And the same is true for organizations. We need to find out and figure out how we can take care of ourselves. Now this statement is true not only for us as leaders and how we lead other people within organizations, but it's also important to note as far as just taking care of you yourself individually. What can you do to make sure that you're taking care of yourself? And part of this entails ensuring that you are doing what's right for you as an organization. Too often, when we're going through a digital transformation, we succumb to outside forces and outside pressures that we don't need to. Software vendors and implementation partners and consultants, industry analysts that tell you how things should be aren't always right. It's not always the right thing for you. And so it's really important that you take the time to step back and really take care of yourself and do what's right for you as an organization. Lead the project the way that makes sense to you as an organization, regardless of what best practice might be or what flavor of the month management or leadership style might be out there. It's important to make sure that you're doing what's right and that you have a plan and a strategy and approach that aligns with who you are as an organization, that aligns with your culture, and ultimately it makes you individually happier as well. One of the last things I'll share that was a, a lesson from vacation is going with the flow. And one of the things I love to do personally when I'm on vacation is not to have a plan. I, I like to just go with the flow. My wife does all the planning. My kids and I just sort of follow along with what she plans and we all like it that way. 
or at least I do. I can't guarantee my wife does because she has to do all the planning, but you get the point. We learn to go with the flow. And so the idea here also applies to organizations. Yes, you need to have a plan. Yes, you need to have structure, but you also need to recognize when it makes sense to pivot and adjust from what that plan is. If you have an inaccurate plan or an unrealistic plan to begin with, then pivot and pivot as soon as you can. The sooner you pivot and the sooner you go with the flow, the better off you're going to be rather than hoping that things get better or hoping that things magically get on track later in a project. So really going with the flow and also not only just adjusting as things go along, but really adjusting how you need to adjust your strategy and plan from the start is important too. So again, you're going to get recommendations from outside parties that tell you how things should be or, or they might give you a proposed implementation plan that may not be realistic. The idea here is that you want to make sure that you adjust those things to fit your specific needs in your specific situation. So going with the flow is one of the most important things that you can do to augment the need to be structured and disciplined in how you go through your digital transformations. So these are just a few lessons from vacation. I hope they've helped and I hope it's given you some things to think about and hopefully you get a vacation to enjoy yourself at some point soon to recharge your batteries and get fresh perspectives. But hopefully in the meantime, this has given you some things to think about. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day.